When I tell you to put your hand behind your back and you try to face me, yeah. that means to me that you're trying to attack me and I'm not giving you an upper hand on that. If you get scared, sir, you need to find you another job. Welcome back to the Lackluster Channel. On May 24th of 2018, the Wasilla Police Department was called to the Office of Children's Services for a man protesting outside the facility. Upon arrival, the first officer on scene makes contact with the man holding various signs. So you got any weapons on you today? No, sir. No? All right, go and put your hands behind your back. The officer grabs the man before telling him to put his hands behind his back, throwing him to the ground. But before we continue, today's video is sponsored by Policy Genius. If you have anyone relying on your income, you need life insurance. It's that simple. Policy Genius is your one stop shop to find and buy the insurance you need at the right price. Policy Genius was built to modernize the life insurance industry by making it easy to compare life insurance quotes from top companies with just a few clicks to find your lowest price. With Policy Genius, you can find life insurance policies that start at just $17 per month for $500,000 of coverage. Policy Genius has licensed agents who can help you find the options that offer coverage in as little as a week and avoid unnecessary medical exams. They're not incentivized to recommend one insurer over another, so you can trust their guidance. There are no added fees and your personal information is private. Your family deserves a financial safety net. So to start comparing quotes and simplify insurance buying, check out policygenius.com forward slash lackluster. You can find the link in the description and pinned comment. Thanks to Policy Genius for sponsoring this video. And now, back to our story. Go on, put your hands behind your back. What you yeah, what are you doing? What? My hand behind my back, sir. I told what you to put your hand behind your back. What You're are you doing? I'm not trespassing. You were sir. told not to go to OCS yesterday uh, and here I'm you are. I'm not at OCS. I'm on yes, the sidewalk. Can y'all record this, please? I'm on the sidewalk. There's no paper being given to me. I'm about to look at Look, I have my arm right there. Why are you being so rough with me? Can you record this? Why are you being so rough with me? Because you refuse to listen and turn away from me. I'm not refusing to listen. I can't do this right in the last time. I have no paper to all say that you're trespassing. I have no paper to all say that I've been trespassing. Hey, can y'all be my witness? Stop turning around on hey, me. Can y'all be my witness? The man tries to explain that he has not been trespassed and that even if he was, he was never inside the facility. The police told me yesterday I am not trespassing. He you were, yes, you were. Paperwork. You were told yesterday that you were trespassed. He said when he get the proper paperwork, he would give it to me and let me know if that was stand up. That's what he said. I tell you, can you please not grab my arm like that? I'm Can I grab my hat? I'll get it. Okay. Let's go. Hey, my uh, blade truck is out there. My uh, that's my blade out there. My Stop trying to turn on me. I'm not trying to turn on you, sir. Just, just calm down and listen. I'm not, I'm not doing nothing. It's him got me so rough. Can you ask him to ease up off me? Oh, yeah, I can't. I can't. Sit. Okay, let me get in. After securing the man in the back of a cruiser, another officer on scene corroborates with one of the witnesses and determines that the man was never inside. He's saying he wasn't inside the office. Are you serious? Yeah. Apparently, specifically the office that he was trying to I don't know that they ever get him the paperwork for the car's property, so. With this new information, one of the officers speaks to other witnesses, while the arresting officer speaks with Mr. Bell. During this conversation, the officer claims that Mr. Bell fought the officer, but dashcam video shows otherwise. The officer also admits that he has people fight him often, which might lend itself to the theory that the officer is incapable of de-escalation. Why is it they try to fight us every I know time? I'm trying to fight you. Sir. How are you trying to I'm trying to fight you. Because when I ask you to turn, back. no, you no. You're being too rough with me. It's, it's on video, it's all on for video. you. Yes, yes it on. is. Okay, we should Because see when that. you snap around on me, I have people fight me all the time. But that's you, sir. You have people fighting you all the time. Yeah, I'm a black right. man, and I have the police come It has nothing to do with, with race. When I ask you to put your hands behind your back, you turn around. My hand was behind my back. Maybe because you had me up in the air at one time, that my hand, you didn't see my hand behind my back. I had you nowhere in the air. Now look, I don't have the right public word. The police said yesterday, I'm not trespassing. That's why I came back this morning to protest. I am not bothering nobody. I can protest. He said, until he gives me the right public work, that I'll be trespassed in. Until then, I'm not trespassing. 
I am not trespassing. I do not have the paperwork. Officer, um, yesterday they told me he would bring me the paperwork. He has not what brought me the what, paperwork. What officer? Officer, um, um. Because it's we, saying that we you were trespassed. I'm just saying. Talk to him. Talk to him. So would you seriously talk to him? He said I cannot be trespassed till he get the proper paperwork. There is no paperwork saying I'm trespassed. He said, oh, shit, yes, I can't go inside there. I can stand out here. I can go to cars. And then, I mean, okay, so I was being told you were inside OCS again hey, yelling sir, at him. Was I inside OCS? Was I inside them doors? I'm asking you. No, sir. No, sir. So you weren't inside OCS? No, sir, right there. No, sir, I was not. Because that's I know, what... I know what touched the door. Time out. Yes. We were told you're sitting inside here yelling at them again. No, sir. No, sir. That, that totally pal. Armed with the new information that his use of force may have been excessive and unlawful, the officer only now begins to de-escalate and explain his actions. I, you know, we can easily just sit here and have a normal conversation. Are we just having no, a normal no, conversation? Hold on. Mm -hmm. Last time me and you, you started yelling at me Not and then taking off who? without even talking. Me. When? This was just last week. Why was that? Because you had issues here at OCS and I told you to settle down and yet you yelled at me the whole time. And I left? Yeah, you up and left. And what, what they called on me? Yeah. Oh, you were the police that we took my little girl complaining that I called the police on. I was upset at you because I called you, but yet you were in there talking to them. Then you just came out here and roughed me up in front of everybody like I was some kind of criminal. Because, now listen, you no, no, you time out. I'm inside that. I have camera. When I tell you to put your hand behind your back and you snap towards me... Ain't nobody snap told you, so you gotta give me time. Come, no, 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 no. When I tell you to put your hand behind your back and you try to face me... Yeah. That means, to me, with my training, the 11 years, is that you're trying to attack me and I'm not giving you an upper hand on that. I don't care how you twist it. If you're that scary, sir, you need to find you another job. That's you don't I scare me. But I'm, but I'm going to take you to ground me. And you, why you ground yeah, me? You're right. I'm going to take you down to the ground to protect myself because I'm not going to allow no you to attack that. me. It was not no reason for that. Easy enough to all you have to do is put your hand behind I your know, back. All I, that's all I got to do for you to shoot me, too. Same way. You're happy. You're very tricky, no. I can tell you. you no, it's real, no job real, like real this. simple. Real you simple. You don't no job you, like this. All you have to do is obey commands. I obey you, commands. No, you don't. When you got no, my own no, no, no. one way, it's hard for me to put my You're arm right. behind my back. You're going to go one way when I when you try turning on me. Uh, 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 but tell you the truth. It's right here on my camera, the whole thing. The whole thing is on your camera. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So, but, yes, but, but I should. Honest but, with you, and me and you were right. I don't think that you could have done it if I wanted to defend myself. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't spin it on that. Or you want... Hey, no, it's, it, I purposely set my camera up so it's recording you because you did this to me last time. Hey, sir, do you think I was just defending myself? Do you think I was just being offensive? No, oh. a dude right there, a witness. Ask him, do you think I was being offensive? Ask him. That under God, too. The police said, until All I right. get the right take the word, I'm not barred. Move your leg for a second. Eventually, the other officer returns to confirm that Mr. Bell was never inside. So, some sort of miscommunication. He was not inside. When Vimer was working yesterday, Scott was saying that he wasn't allowed on the property, but they're waiting on the property manager to get some sort of paperwork. He was never inside OCS. So, okay. All for nothing. Alrighty. So, what do you want me to do with him? He's. As long as he's not going inside OCS, then we've got no. They had said yesterday they didn't want him on the property, but they want something from the property manager instead of just cars. So he wants to hear, and he's not yelling and swearing like he was yesterday. Then he's free to go. And now the officers have no choice but to release Mr. Bell from his unlawful detention. All right. You hate that shit, don't you? Hey, I want that video, sir. I really want that video. You really hate this shit, don't you? No. You really hate this, huh? Yeah. I want that video, sir. Take I really want that video. Level. I want that video. If you don't mind, we'll be calling up to the police force in about five minutes for this video. Keep your right hand behind your back. My hand is behind my back, sir. You got my arm. Yeah, remain your right hand behind your back. Both of my arms behind my back. They're handcuffed together. He's taking it off, though. He's I know he's Relax you. your right oh, okay. arm behind your back. Okay, then. All right. Just like how I told you, okay, put your hands behind your back. If you leave, if you get your hand off my hand, that's the way we won't see it going another way. I can hold my hand behind my back. Perfect. I like, I like to have that video. Thank you so much. Yeah. Mr. Bell returns to his signs to continue protesting, and a witness of the encounter sought to redress his grievances with the officers, during which the officers mute their microphones. Officer, what's 
What's the point of you showing up and being rough with this guy and then letting him go? Who are you? I, I don't know who you are, so no, I, I don't no. need to disclose that information to I'm you. I'm a citizen. You're a police officer. I see what just happened here, and you just... I love how that beauty you and I were standing here having business, a conversation. Well, yeah. I love how that beauty you can have it. You told me about that. It is currently unknown how this situation came to an end. The Wasilla Police Department often posts press reports, but for May 24th of 2018, they listed six incidents, none of which had anything to do with the unlawful detainment and excessive force used against Mr. Bell. I have searched, but have been unable to find any evidence of a lawsuit filed against the department, nor have I been able to contact Mr. Bell. It is also unclear whether or not the officer faced any disciplinary action for this encounter. So let me know what you think in the comments down below. How do you think the Wasilla Police Department should handle this interaction? Thanks for watching. If you have a video, use the submit link in the description or pinned comment. If you enjoyed this one, subscribe and hit the bell for future content and check out our other channels, Lady Lackluster and The Odd Side. Remember to like, share, and leave a comment about what you think of this interaction. It's the easiest way for you to help expose corruption and misconduct. Merchandise is available using the links below. Join the Lackluster family for just a buck if you'd like to further support the channel. Get a Lack logo next to your name, custom emotes, and early access to videos. I look forward to seeing you in the next one. All links are down below.